The commutative property of addition and the associative property of addition are both properties we've already taken a look at back in chapter one. We're going to take another look at them now. Um, number one, to just review them, and then number two, to think about the appropriate use of parentheses with negatives. So in this first example, it says to write, uh, rewrite negative 9 plus negative 14 using the commutative property, and then after that we're going to simplify. So remember that the commutative property says that we can write um, the numbers in any order we want and add them in any order we want. So if I want to put negative 14 first and negative 9 second, I can, and that's what the commutative property is telling me. It's just to reorder those two. Now when I write that out, I think we can agree that looks funny. We've talked about this before, that that doesn't look quite right. And so remember, if you have an operation prior to a negative number, you're going to want to put that negative number in parentheses. And that was the reason we had parentheses around the negative 14 here, because there was a plus in front of it. And so now that negative 14 is in front with no addition symbol here, we can just leave the parentheses off, but now we need it with the negative 9. Now since we're adding two numbers that have the same sign, we know we're just going to add their absolute values. So 14 plus 9. So we get 23, but of course because both of these are negative, the answer is negative 23. In the next example, we're going to look at the associative property of addition uh, to rewrite these two expressions and then simplify. So remember, the associative property is just saying that you can choose whatever two numbers you want um, to add first um, before adding any other numbers. And so right now, this expression is saying add 38 and negative 17 first, and then after that add negative 5. So to rewrite this using the associative property, what we'd be saying is that we're going to add the second two numbers first. So now I'm going to put parentheses around negative 17 and negative 5. Now let's think about where parentheses should go for each of these individual numbers. So negative 17 is going to come first in here. So the question is whether I need to put a set of parentheses around negative 17. And the answer is no. The parentheses that are indicating do negative 17 plus negative 5 first are enough to kind of protect this negative from this plus sign. So I can actually drop the parentheses that are around negative 17. However, the negative 5 has got to keep its parentheses because it has a plus in front of it just like it did in, uh, in the original expression. So we have to keep parentheses there. As a general rule, um, you want to use as few parentheses as possible because if you get too many in an expression, um, it can start to look confusing. But we do need them on negative 5. And now we can go ahead and simplify. Negative 17 plus negative 5. Of course, we're adding the absolute values. And so we end up with 38 plus negative 22. And then the signs are different there, so we'll subtract the absolute values. And so we get positive 16 because, of course, 38 is a larger absolute value than negative 22's absolute value, so the positive wins. In this example here, we'll use the associative property here. We initially have the second and third, um, the second and third numbers being added first, but we're going to switch it to the first and second. So I'll put a parenthesis there negative 21 plus, now notice before negative 6 didn't have its own set of parentheses, but now I'm going to have to put negative 6 after this plus sign, so it better have its own set of parentheses now to kind of protect it from this plus. But this set of parentheses is different um, and distinct from this left parenthesis here, so I'm going to need another parenthesis on the right to close this off. To make sure you have expressions written correctly that have lots of parentheses, just make sure the number of left parentheses match the number of right parentheses. 
So now we have it rewritten using the associative property. We can add negative 21 and negative 6. So we'll take 21 plus 6 and get 27. But of course that's a negative 27. Now that I've added them, I really don't need any of those parentheses anymore. So we'll rewrite, rewrite it like this, negative 27 plus 53. And just like in the last example, we're subtracting and we'll end up with a positive answer because the larger absolute value um, comes from the positive number.